Good morning, everybody. How you doing? So, everybody had fun reading Zellner's reply to the state there? Actually, it's interesting. There's a lot of things interesting about this reply, but the first thing is, is that it's actually a motion for leave to reply. So, it's actually done a little bit differently than a normal reply is done. So, it's actually a motion where she's asking leave to reply to the state's unsolicited response right basically she's saying the state responded without anybody asking for it. they just did it on their own just you know without any you know buddy asking for it essentially and so she is saying well we are asking for motion where we are motioning for permission to reply to that response just in you know basically just in case you read that you know so we want to have something else because there is some stuff in that state's response that's essentially very disingenuous, right? Okay. So it's very interesting. She goes through the first part talking about how the state was not asked to respond. They did anyway. Uh, and then, you know, that, you know, it's just very, very, very funny stuff, you know, really. Um, then she goes into basically going through the state's arguments that, that they made. She points out that the appeals, the court of appeals asked for fact finding on the merits of this. And yet the state is still all talking about procedural and, and trying to procedurally bar Stephen, right? She, you know, Kathleen goes through all their arguments. She basically says that none of their arguments are carrying any weight. And um, she points out that that essentially they were in the in the before they asked Stephen to drop his his appeal, right? His actual his his motion for post conviction relief, the whole thing, the whole thing that's on appeal. The state had had said he could drop that, and then he could then he could pursue the quick the the quick DNA testing of the bones and whatnot and whatnot and the or the or the the destruction of of the evidence right they 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 suggested that he could drop his appeal and do that now they're trying to say he's procedurally barred from from doing anything about the bones right you see how disingenuous this is she points out that this is like uh, she they call it uh, judicial estoppel this means that the state has now voiced one position and then has now flip flopped on that because it now it, it's now favorable for them to 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 flip flop on it and and now say that something that they had previously said Stephen could raise they are now trying to say that it's procedurally barred. So this this type of stuff, this double talk from the state, is really a big deal. So I'm going to be going through this thing. Um, she it also goes through a lot of other things like talking about what the state was saying about Andy uh, rapid DNA testing and how their their statements don't really take into account the most recent history with Andy rapid DNA and what it's how it's been getting used in forensic uh, for crime scene analysis and stuff like that like she's basically just saying their argument is 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 just resting on old outdated arguments and outdated stuff and 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 so the fact that they are making these arguments is really ridiculous I mean she really she puts it to them it's you know and then one of the best quotes in there is that Mr. Mr. Fallon and Gon's argument now is that they reawakened the Hallbach's grief in 2011 to give them animal bones. That's essentially what Gon and Fallon are arguing because they said in their response that they haven't violated the statute because the best that can be said about those bones is they're possible human. The other thing that she points out is that the state leaned really heavily on talking about uh, tag number 8679, I believe it is, right? That's the hip bone. They they relied on talking about that and were, and were refer referring to that one bone a lot in their response, right? But Kathleen Zellner is pointing out in her response, she's like, this is very disingenuous of them because we're talking about all these bones. All And she pulls out a, the, the, the uh, WCRS uh, numbers and she pulls out all the bones. She says, all the bones besides 8679 or whatever are all classified as human by the state's expert, Leslie, Leslie Eisenberg. They are classified as human. They weren't, they weren't determined by Leslie Eisenberg to be Teresa, but they were determined to be human. And therefore they are human bones and those should have never been returned. That, that should never have been destroyed. Okay, and they're the state saying that they have more more bones from those piles and stuff still in in custody or whatever. Yeah, but none of those bones were determined to be human by Leslie Eisenberg. 
Very interesting stuff, folks. I'm going to be going through this probably later tonight, um, maybe with Travis. Um, and I think we're also going to be doing it, uh, doing it again on Monday uh, with Travis and Tracy and I. So we're going to kind of go through this thing. It's very interesting read, folks. Uh, you can go check me out on Twitter. I posted a bunch of excerpts from it last night on Twitter if you want to go check those out. Uh, some people have been asking me about the Lynn Hartman stuff. Yes, po folks, this weekend I will be addressing Lynn Hartman, for those of you who, who are wondering. I'm going to address that. I've read it. I've gone through it. It's really nothing new to me. I've seen all this stuff before. It's really just Lynn Hartman looking for attention again. Um, but for those of you who it's new to and you haven't seen it, I will be happy to try to explain for you what's going on there. So that's some of what's going on for this weekend. I have to go to work this morning. Uh, hopefully I won't be too long, but I'm definitely going to be at least fucking, uh, well, sorry about that, but I'm at least going to be about half a day at least. And uh, so hopefully by afternoon, I'll be back in the command center and I'll be able to, uh, you know, go over the, some of this stuff with you, but wanted to go ahead and briefly talk about it and let you guys know that I got something coming on later today. So. Uh, you know, very interesting stuff. So, hey, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, and we'll see you.